it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. This is what we're going to be making today. Look it, look how strong that is. These are signs that you can use. I mean, this is for a softball float. Uh, it's my daughter's opening day. We're spelling out each one of the letters, but I think it's great for games, uh, for parties. You know, if you want to spell out something. But then a couple things. Uh, one is like you really want to make sure that they're strong. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do. These are big letters. If you follow the design space tutorial, you know that I went maxed on the size. So if they're, you know, basically 12 inches. Um, I wanted to make sure that they were legible. They were big. And um, yeah, so let's get started. So while I clear this up, um, please subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. All right. The materials that we're using today, basically, I use 12 by 24 cardstock. And here's the reason why. I was cutting out so many letters that I didn't want to keep feeding in. So like even just fitting two letters per cut was going to make it so much easier for me. So I use 12 by 24 cardstock from Cricut. Um, so the white and the blue. And then to make sure, because it's not glitter cardstock, well, there are a couple of things here. I mean, to make it strong, you can use really heavy cardstock, but it's expensive. I did not want to use however many sheets of glitter cardstock for this project. Um, so I used, you know, I think it's 80 pound cardstock. So I'm gonna show you, I added support in between. So you can see these are like, they're not moving and I can, you know, really, cheer people on <laughs> all right so let's i'm gonna put this aside we're gonna do one letter to show you how to do it so here's the letter a so the outline is it's gonna be you know this outline and then the wooden dowel from the dollar tree this is definitely the cheapest way to go i think so i'm gonna have it like that right so in between, we're going to be gluing, but you can see this is, this is how I kind of test things out. Like I hold it like this, like, is it flimsy? Yeah, it's still pretty flimsy. So we're going to be adding either these little support sticks, you know, you can do it like this. We can add this to make it, you know, sturdy. This triangle is going to be sturdy. Um, knowing that our stick is going to go up like this. So. I've got these. I've also just snapped these in half to make it, you know, really strong. So we're going to do that after we piece this together. So let's put together our A and then I'll show you how I would build it. So. Good Lord. <laughs> Oh, and this, I didn't even notice that. When you don't get a clean cut, but you can clean it up pretty easily, I just use my fingernails to kind of like push back the, the other pieces, like kind of like the, the little strands, if you want to call it that. Okay, so this is how it's going to go. I'm going to do the outline first. And with the outline, I'm going to use Barely Art Glue. It dries pretty quickly, so what I would do is I would do, you know, one little section at a time. Oh my gosh, I got my, let me move that out of the way. Got my table. this side I love this glue so for cardstock projects it doesn't warp the paper it dries clear and quickly gives you just enough time to make the adjustments that you need and then it dries so it's pretty cool <laughs> and I like the precision tip so you can see right now I think from here I can go pretty quickly around, so I'm going to try it. Okay, 
So we've got that down. And put this little guy down. Um, so let's do this. Pretty good. Then we've got the insides. I think we just need this little guy. Yep. Okay, so our A is done. Now we gotta make it be supported. So I think I'm gonna just do the dowel really quickly. I'm gonna, I know I closed my eyes. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, and then maybe I'll do, whoa, my goodness. <laughs> That's too big. I think, okay, so let's glue this down. I'm gonna let this dry for a second, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda of test it by holding it up together to see if it's supported enough. So, cause we really want it so that it's not bending over and you see, and then I wanna be able to cheer, right? Like we're putting our arms up and everything. So we wanna make sure that these are super sturdy. Okay, it's pretty dry. So if I hold it, if it's glued together, I think it's pretty sturdy. I'm gonna do one more right here. Maybe like that. Okay, and then we have the middle one going so we can actually hold it. So it's gonna be right like this. Ooh, I, so I kind of want these to be the same. I'm gonna line it up like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight inches of my wooden dowel is showing. So in this case, that works for the R because it's over on the side and it's all supported right there, but it doesn't work so well for the A. So I'm gonna do something like this. Okay, so we wanna make sure the stick's not moving anywhere and then we're gonna glue it from the top. So I've got that down. I'm gonna add another glue stick. Give me one second. Okay, so we're gonna add glue all above here and then we're gonna put this down. So it's a pretty simple project, but you really want to support, you know, have that support there for your letters. Otherwise, it's going to be horrible and you're not going to be able to feel comfortable cheering, right? Um, so you just want to make sure you're ready to go. And we can always add more glue in between the letters after we glue this down. Okay, but you still want to work pretty quickly. Yay, it 
it's not flimsy. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna lift this up and add some glue here just to, you know, make it heavy and sturdy and that it's not going anywhere. Do we need it up here? I don't think we do, but yay, look at that, right? It's pretty big and look, we just glued it down. It's super sturdy. That's what you want. So I hope that was helpful. Dollar Tree store for all those supplies for the dowels. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.